I'm William T. Ballman, and I'm the author of An Afghanistan Picture Show. I remember I was visiting my parents for Christmas over in Switzerland, and I read about the Soviet invasion in 1979, and it just seemed so awful to me. Um, and I wanted to do something for those people. My heart really went out to them. And um, I wanted to do that even more after six months when the media just stopped talking about it. And I thought, does that mean this is just going to go on and on? And why don't people care? Uh, I had this strong desire to do good uh, and help other people learn about this problem and maybe figure out what others could do as well. Uh, so I got on the merry-go-round of uh, embarrassment and failure. It all worked out. When I went into Afghanistan with the Mujahideen, uh, I was with people who spoke uh, no English, and I spoke, you know, ten words of Pushtu. So um, it was not conducive to international communication, but uh, they were very patient with me. Uh, there's a really sweet guy named. Soliman, who was helping me, he was carrying my backpack for me when I got weak. And have to remember that this was Ramadan. So even though um, Muslims on a jihad are not required to observe Ramadan, they were still doing it. So they were going over these mountains in sandals with bleeding feet, not eating or drinking all day. Um, and I couldn't keep up with them, you know. They were helping me along. I was leaning on their shoulders. I had dysentery, um, and uh, you know, I was I was pretty pathetic. Um, I'm lucky that they didn't just abandon me. I thought I was helping them, and they sure took care of me. All I had was enough money for. Uh, a camera, a couple lenses, some film, and um, you know, um, I didn't think to um, have a budget for food or medicine or anything for them. I was completely useless. You know, when I was tired, I could say, Dear Mushka, that means, you know, very difficult. Um, you know, and uh, they would encourage me. I knew how to say water and, you know, things like this. Um, but mostly it was just uh, going with them or waiting and wondering what in the heck was going to happen next. Um, and seeing that these are uh, incredibly uh, brave and dedicated people. Um, there were a few who could. Um, who could speak a little English. Um, and, uh, you know, I would ask them what they needed, and they would say, look, we don't need food. We don't need medicine. We don't care if we live or die. All we want is guns so we can kill the Russians. And I remember thinking, boy, uh, I hope we never get on their bad side.